Hey y'all, hey, this is LaQuisha here at Confident Canvas and I am here today to share with you my process um, on the first, for the first entry of Preparing Hearts by Illustrated Faith, the February devotional written by my dear friend Becky Baker. Um, just really quickly before I even jump in, I just want to share that Becky is so, so dear to me. Um, she made handmade a bag for my booby book um booby is the name of my 18 year cat who passed last year on september the 11th and she presented it to me at um, a retreat last year and i was just so grateful she had no idea that i had started journaling and um that journal fit perfectly inside what she considered to be an irregularly shaped um pouch and so it was very God-led. She's always so encouraging to me. And so my expectation is that this devotional will also be encouraging. And so I've already gone through here and and read this uh, first entry of the devotional, which is walking through the hard. And so I want to take you through my process of creating for... Uh, what I read in this entry. And so I'm just opening up to this page in this Ranger notebook, which is where I've done a lot of um, art journaling spreads for Illustrated Faith. This was something I did, did at a retreat to win a gift card. I followed these five prompts and directions in one. And then um, I did this page um, alongside Lauren, who is my redeemed soul on Instagram, that's my that's my boo thing, and she and I created it together. And then this is the page that I created for last month's kit. So I am now going to turn to my next available page and create for the first week of preparing hearts, walking through the hard. <clears throat> one of the things that stuck out to me in this devotional Becky has overcome a lot as many of us have and um she talks about how even though we're going we could be going through something very difficult God is with us in that entire journey um one of the lines that stuck out to me I highlighted here it says if God will allow it I will accept it and so that when I read it was what sparked uh the page that I'm going to create from this. And so I'm going to start uh, by just, I have some <laughs> balled up paper I found y'all. These are like some little pieces of dictionary pages that I believe I received some kind of happy mail. Some happy mail was wrapped in that. And um, I'll be honest with you, it was laying around in my craft room and I said, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna put this in the background when I tell y'all this is gonna be intuitive I mean it and so um I essentially just want to um, create a background and so I'm going to put some things down I'm gonna start with this one uh this is to give the page some texture and also have some like little fun text peeking out of underneath whatever I'm going to put over top of it, which again, I don't know yet. I will tell you, I have um, picked out some colors that I want to use and I decided because Shauna Noel is including and incorporating some of my favorite colors now in these kits <laughs> which is uh purple or lavender so uh we've been seeing a lot of that more in uh recent kits including the washi tape <clears throat> there's a washi tape that is also lavender and so i am selecting a purple lavender like color to put into the um, color palette of this spread and then also because i saw a lot of blue i was thinking of a color that would um kind of correspond with it well 
And so I decided navy blue and lavender. I thought that would look so nice together. Because, you know, I'm used to seeing in a lot of things, I'm used to seeing uh, navy blue in like a pink or a peachy like color. And so I said, I'm going to replace that with lavender. So we're going to see, y'all. We're going to see. Because <laughs> I have no idea how this is going to turn out. But also, I'm not afraid of <clears throat> what that could look like. So I'm going to add some more paper. I have some lavender tissue paper here. I don't know where I got this from. <laughs> but I'm going to tear it up and include it. And I'm actually going to overlap a bit some of what I've already done here. So I'll put this here. I used to um, become really, really bothered by my paper wrinkling like that. But I'm going to tell you all something. That dog on Mary, <laughs> Mary Wangerin on Instagram, she, um, she taught a class at a retreat last year. And she talked about how she just she just keeps going <laughs> so now i keep going even if it wrinkles and i'm just so grateful for her for how much she has poured into me through just her teaching and so mary if you watch this thank you so much this page is actually inspired by her class she um taught some mixed media to us at that retreat and i was just so so overwhelmed with all I had learned and I'm always open to learning something new something more and she brought the fire so <laughs> um again I'm just tearing pieces of this paper and gluing it down I had no initial like plan or idea of what this was going to look like I do believe it's going to turn out nice because it's mixed media <laughs> and it doesn't have to be perfect. So one of the um, things I like about tissue paper is that it glues down so well, like you don't have to work really hard on it. It'll just, you put it down it stays down and you can keep going <laughs> so i am going to let this dry but in the meantime um i want to uh consider another color that i might want in this background and so i'm thinking about i have this orchid color by dina wakely um some of the kit has like this um so there is some lavender, but there's also like a lot of pink and some other, there's a, a couple of colors in this kit, but in addition to the lavender, there's like a pink color. So I'm not ready to go pink yet, but I did want to at least add um, some of this uh, pinkish purple color, which um, <laughs> as you can see, I'm not thinking too hard about this either. So ultimately, um, I just want to get the color down and I'll put some in the center. I try, I'm trying to use a rule of three. I'm using my rule of three and, um, putting this in three spaces here. I am going to put just a little bit more here. Okay, <laughs> getting all that pink off my finger. So again, this is Orchid from the acrylic paint colors from Dana Wakely. Um, <clears throat> I also know that I'm gonna need some blue in the background. I'm thinking this is a new color from um, Dina. It's called Sapphire. And you know, now that I think about it, I probably should use Iris too, but... Um, that's okay. <laughs> I am 
hopefully gonna have enough color here where they'll blend anyway so I am intentionally trying to get some of the colors to blend. Um, so you'll see me like putting it inside or within another color. Some of it has already dried, so it might not blend as much, but that's okay. Got a big old piece of paint there. Hardly ever paint the edges of pages the way I should. I'm trying to be more intentional about that with this one. <laughs> so I got this in three spaces and I'm now going to put just a little bit of white over top of some of these. Or this is not white. This is Heather. It's almost white. It's like a very pale um Lavender, it's a very pale lavender, like it's almost not even <laughs> lavender, as you can see. Mixing with the blue, though, it does look a bit more lavender. I'm just trying to cover the page. <laughs> so once I get enough color on here, I'm going to move on to another part of this. I really like this Heather color. It's a lot more lavender than I thought, but in the bottle, it looks very uh, connected to white, the color white. I'm trying to get this to blend here. Definitely could have used a paintbrush, <laughs> but I'm uh, okay with just the uh, using my finger for this part if you're not a fan of finger painting which i know some people aren't which is fine um, you can always do the same process with a paintbrush so don't feel obligated however it is very fun and freeing oh my um sometimes i don't have to fool with my um I don't have to fool at all with my um, brushes and it's such an easy process as far as cleanup. <laughs> so now I'm adding just a bit of white um, to some of these parts. I want to create um, more color variation. So as you can see, there's like a lighter blue here and that's because I've added this, this white here. So I have color on my hand also which is contributing to the color that's mixing in so like even here the white is mixing into that pink color and it's creating like this light purple pinkish color which i like um i'm gonna do the same down here because i know i'm trying to put it where i see some wet paint so that wet paint can mix in and create another color variation now this time I'm going to actually clean my finger off a little because <clears throat> I want it to blend with more with the colors that are already there and not the colors that are on my hand And then do the same here at the bottom. This is the only space I think I don't have any paint. But I think after this, I should have paint on the whole sheet or spread rather. Ooh, I like that. A little, that little 
I don't know what that is. <laughs> it looks dreamy. Um, I want to clean up some of these hard lines. So I'm going to put just a little bit more paint, white paint down just so I can blend in some of these hard paint lines. Like here. I don't want that to be so strikingly like here's the end of the purple. <laughs> I'm doing the same with the blue here. Okay, so now it looks like a kaleidoscope of colors, kind of. I'm going to blend this a little. Okay. I like what just happened there. I, mean, I didn't even intend for that to happen. So I'm just rubbing parts of this, and it's <laughs> creating new things happening. So let me let me keep that going. So I told y'all this is gonna be intuitive. <laughs> um okay, the rest of this feels a little dry. Can't move the paint when it's dry, but when when you can move the paint, do it. <laughs> so if you remember, I had um I had those uh dictionary pieces underneath drying. So I'm now going to just take this um Neo Color 2 crayon and make some marks. Oops. <laughs> that whole piece came up. Check this out. Look. Boom. Back. So clearly that's not dry yet. But I'm still going to mark around it. So. Just picking up some colors from some parts of this. Just lifting the color in some spots too. And making it like a little grungy like. I'm also wiping the crayon off to keep that paint off. So, um... Essentially, this is going to be my background for whatever I do at this point, but I'm not done with the background. So I also want to incorporate this paper. So this came with the kit, <laughs> as you might remember. Um, it was some of the packing paper. And I want to pick something that, oh, I'm probably going to cut out those birds and okay let me figure out what i'm going to use from here so i think i'm going to use the birds because they're going to flow so well with the bird that i'm trying to use and i'm going to take that all the way over like that i don't know where they're going yet i have a feeling i would want them there I'm also going to tear off these polka dots because I feel like I could put them somewhere else. And I'm going to leave that little piece of washi tape on there that <laughs> Shauna mailed it with. And I think I want to do a third piece. Let's see if I find something. Is there any more? Hmm. Maybe some big words. A desire to love those around me well. So my focus statement is, if God will allow it, I will accept it. So I'm going to cut out her every breath with a prayer. And I'll put that somewhere in the background. Now, I'll be honest. Normally, I tear paper like this and just glue it down, but... Nobody tears Mary's paper. <laughs> so we're not tearing her paper. I think I'm going to put this here. I know I want the birds here. Here, here, and I can put the polka dots anywhere. So I'm going to open my glue again. I'm pretty sure that's not dry yet. So it's not going to stop me from moving forward. <laughs> Y'all don't, I mean, try to stay at home, but give it, give it time to dry. 
it probably will work out better. I just really want to um, get through this. I don't want to rush you, Paige. But I believe that if we work together, you're going to come out nicely. So let me <laughs> see where this goes. Oh, this tissue paper melted right into the page. And so far, so good on this non-dried section. Okay. I better stop before I mess it up. Okay, that blended in well. All right, and now I'm going to put these birds down. I just want y'all to know also that I'm recording this on Super Bowl Sunday. Like, no one is paying me any mind today. <laughs> Husband included. Everybody's like in the world of either watching the Super Bowl or talking about the Super Bowl. I'm not mad because this is like free time for me to get stuff done. So... I'm actually quite grateful for this time. We should have a Super Bowl like every month. <laughs> okay, so here I got to be a little bit more intentional because it's crossing the page. I need to make sure the page can turn. Okay. I really like how this looks so far. So, just making sure these edges are down. Do not want them coming up when it dries. Okay, and then these polka dots. Where am I putting these polka dots? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Um, maybe a little here, and I'll put some glue underneath. This glue is soft gel medium um, by Dina Wakely also. Y'all, can you tell I love Dina? <laughs> uh, I use most, mostly her stuff, even in my Illustrated Faith creations, so... Oh, that little piece of washi tape right there is, ooh, it's it. Okay, and now I'm going to put this other little piece down here in the corner because it feels a little lonely down there. And I'll be done with this part. Oh, I love how that just melted onto the page. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. You can't even tell it was a piece of tissue paper. Now this right here, I feel like I can tell a little, but that little corner on underneath my washi side, you can kind of tell, but it's okay. It'll be in the background. <laughs> so this is my, gosh, how many layers was that? Three? <laughs> and um, so while this is drying now, which I might do a little bit of drying while on camera just to make sure. I can tell by how glossy it still looks when I tilt it in the sun. And so um, what I'm gonna do now is play a little bit with uh, the piece that I want to use. So I want to use this bird as I shared. The bird is gonna go over that bird, y'all. Isn't that so nice? Oh my goodness. Okay, and then I need to, my goal is to use as much as possible. So I'm also going to, I think I want to use Rise Up. I don't know where yet. Okay, so I'm going to play with this for a moment. You get to watch me because that is why we're, he we're here. <laughs> I like how that looks. Let's see if I can. Hmm. I think I might put that there. 
put the bird here just to give it a little backing maybe a little bit more that way okay um and then i want it rise up to be somewhere I'm trying to see where would this be best rise up let me pull my bird down a little more I'm guessing it'll look good like that and hmm Okay, so, and then I'll put it about right there. So I am going to staple this so it stays together. Okay, so that's my initial staple. And then I'll put another one down here. All right, and then... Now I'm going to play with this little piece on the page. I know I want the bird to go on this side. Um, <laughs> sorry, y'all. So I actually am still seeing like comments pop up on my phone from my post introducing myself today. <laughs> and I just saw uh, Kelly Banks add to my list. And it says a friend to Kelly Banks. She's so funny, y'all. I love her. <laughs> so i'm going to play with this little piece of fabric because y'all i'm going to tell you the truth i will be in my head like what do, what would mary do and i feel like she would add a piece of fabric <laughs> i want her to confirm that too in this uh i'm gonna ask her i'm gonna say mary would you have added a piece of fabric right there so i think i'm gonna do this but i also Y'all, where did this come from? You know where this came from? It came from the retreat. <laughs> it was just a piece of fabric left from something. And I think I just threw it in my stash of stuff. And when I unpacked, it was still there. And I was like, oh, I need to use this with something. So let me staple this down. I'm doing all this stapling now, y'all, because I just want to be responsible for adhering this to the page. I don't want to worry too much. <laughs> um, I don't want to worry too much about, oh, I love this. I love this. <laughs> okay, so I think that's where my bird is gonna go. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is, cause we're not done with this background i also want to um add in some more stuff um i think at this point i'm just gonna play <laughs> and see what happens it's still a little wet in some spots this isn't even showing up that didn't even that's still wet right there so i'm probably gonna have to wait on that um let's see I, oh, I know what I want to do. So I want to put um, a dark blue in the background, like like almost like a stencil, but it's not a stencil. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. And you've probably seen this before, so don't look for something groundbreaking to happen. But... I love, love, love circles in my art. I don't know what it is with me in circles. <laughs> but I want to put some circles on here. And I'm going to use this jar. This is, as you can see, the jar I use for everything. Um, for all things art. Which blue? I think I'm going to use night. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line the lid. Y'all, there's other ways to do this. I just don't feel like doing it in those ways. <laughs> so if you just watched me do that and cringed, I am so sorry. But I promise you, 
This is gonna turn out well. All right, so I just needed some circles. I feel like if I got any ink left on my hand, or paint rather, I'm gonna redo this one. Okay, I feel like that part is gonna be covered. Okay, one more time, try to get some of this paint here. Okay, that's good enough. And now I'm going to, so one of the things that I often do with this is I'll constantly hold up my little piece to see, like, if it still looks the way I want it to look. And I love it with the rise up. Okay, so now, oh gosh, I got it perfect. Look at that, how that's going to look. Okay, so I think, hmm. While that's still drying, I am going to cut out of the devotional that line that I like from the first section, which was walking through the hard. And it says, if God will allow it, I will accept it. Let's see. That is this line right here. Had to make sure I was cutting the right line. I actually should just cut both of these out. I had to make sure I still had that butterfly wing, y'all. You know how we feel about butterfly wings. <laughs> and I'm going to use that, I think, for something I plan to do later this week. So also on that note, I'm going to be doing a lot of different things only because I naturally do different things in my art. And so I want you to see the uh, range of what I like and I'm interested in as well as um, the range of my art. I will say that it won't all be mixed media or traditional Bible journaling as we know it to be. Um, I want it to be things that give you uh, spark ideas for you to create outside of just your traditional Bible space. So I have my if right here. God will allow it. Okay, and then I'll put I will accept it. All right, so the rest of that is going to be trash, but I do want that to be a part of this spread as well as, um, hmm, let me see now about maybe adding some, let me see what I can do with the, uh, with this, uh, Neo color crayon. Let's see if I can add any marks. I don't know if it's dry enough. Okay, I got a little bit. And then I'll put some here if I can. It's still a little wet down there. Let's see if I can. Yep. Didn't do so well in that spot, so it must still be wet. Y'all, I'm so impatient. <laughs> and then, um, oh, you know what? I want to try here too. It's not showing up as much because that color is already light. Um, I was going to do some drips. Changing my mind on that just because I'm already 30, <laughs> 35 minutes into this. And I want, I want to finish in a reasonable time so y'all don't clock out on me. So I think um, I'm using this cross from the stamp set. So... This stamp set that came with this kit. I'm using that cross. And I'm going to put some in the background using some regular archival ink. 
And I don't know where they're going. I'm just going to put them somewhere. <laughs> so, wherever, wherever they fit. And in threes. Her every breath was a prayer. Okay, that part didn't come out as bold. Let me see if I can redo it. It didn't help. <laughs> but that's okay. And then I think I'll put two up here. I'm seeing paint on here, so it must not be dry there. But guess what, y'all? <laughs> y'all gonna take this ink today? I have never created mixed media with the intention of everything like being perfectly outlined, straight, um, perfectly in place, dark. You know, sometimes we have a thing, we'll keep trying to stamp over something. I'll just color over it if it didn't turn out exactly the way I want it, which you are about to see. So, I'm, uh, this is a Japanese pen uh, with India ink in it, I believe. And so, I'm just darkening it enough so you know that cross is there, but no big deal. on perfection okay and so now i got some crosses i'm also going to put a little bit of splatter this pen is so juicy that when i hit it right <laughs> I'll get splatters. So this is adding to the splatters I already had. Um, where the uh, little polka dots were. All right. Oh, the little bird got um, buried. <laughs> ah, the little bird right there. Hopefully he'll still look like somebody if I blow at him. Let me see. Yeah, he's still there. You can still tell he's a bird. <laughs> so I'm going to let that dry. And I am going to now figure out where I'm going to put. So I know I still want this here. Um, still want this here. And then I need to figure out where these words are going to go. So what I'm going to do is move this to the side. I'm going to tape these down with this very thin tape. It's double-sided. I could just use the um, soft gel that I've been using, but I don't think I want to fool with that right now. So, I want to put if underneath the bird. If God will allow it, I'm going to put, put it like that, and then I will accept, can go like that, okay. So I wasn't sure if I should, um, I was going to like time lapse this whole process and, you know, make it a reel for Instagram. But I was like, maybe, maybe people will want to see what I actually do <laughs> in real time. And so I think I'm going to turn, but my goal is to turn this video into something that can be watched on Instagram and then... Um, you know, if you want to see the whole process, you can watch this.
So I might ask you all to tell me in the comments which you prefer. Um, the time lapse or the full shebang. Okay, so I'm not going to put this all the way down because I don't want to stuck to that. But I do want to make sure this still looks the way I want it to look on the page. Yep, it's going right there. Now, I think this is still drying. So, what I'm going to do is just very quickly hit it with some heat. And then we'll move on to the next part of this because I'm not done. <laughs> and I don't know about y'all, but I often cannot find anywhere to plug my stuff at because I'm always using my plugs. So, I had to just figure out what was coming undone. <laughs> Some washing tape. <laughs> I'll do that now before it's dry, dry. So I did want to intentionally put um, some of the washi from the kit inside this. And so I guess I'll do that quickly and then I'll see if it's still wet. Oops, this is upside down. I do want that to be right side up, so turning that around. Okay, and then I'm gonna add this is not from this kit, but this is from Illustrated Faith. Um I really like this washi because it already looks like mixed media, so put some of this down over top of the washi I just put down. Okay, and then I probably could put this washi in more areas because it's just so, oh, I just love the way this looks. Okay, so I just wanted to show you all that little washi situation there and here. I really like how that came out. And then I was thinking about putting that, that green washi on there. But I feel like at this, mm, I don't know where I would want to put it. <laughs> so maybe I'll leave that out for now. Um, let me see. If I put, when I put this down, I need to make sure I don't want washi underneath that somewhere. I don't think so. I do want one more piece just right here over that, that piece and it won't be lavender. Um, maybe, hmm, I'll try this. Yeah, cause these are the, so this is my way to get a little piece of Shauna's color in there. <laughs> Y'all know she loves that citron green. All right. And I'm probably going to end up tearing some of that in a moment. <laughs> I'm also going to try again to add some more texture now that some of it is dry. 
Ooh, I like how they wiped over the washi. Okay. And maybe, just maybe, I think I'll put a little bit of um, this green color in the background. Just a little bit. Okay, and then I'll put a little bit more here on the edge. And let's see. So, I got a little green in here. I added another little color. And I think I'm going to do my next part before going down my bird. I think that's good enough for me. Now, once I put my bird down, which will be about here. Actually, I should go ahead and put my bird down. So let me do that. I'm putting some more double-sided tape on the back of this only because I don't want to fool with the gel paste right now. <laughs> So, um, for those of you who want, if you want it to last a bit longer, I do think it's better to use the um, soft gel to adhere. But, I just want this to be quickly done. So, I'll pull this up. Now, I will say, I wouldn't use the double-sided tape that you roll on. I feel like that's not as strong as the, the kind that comes with the paper that I'm pulling off. All right, let's see. I want to make sure I put this in a good spot. I really like how that... Um... Hold on, I'm going to tell y'all. I gotta concentrate because I gotta make sure my book closes <laughs> too. Ooh. Let me see, maybe I should pull it up a bit. And let's see. All right. So I'm gonna put the bird here. We have committed the bird, y'all. <laughs> All right. Okay, now the other thing I wanna do is I have um this page i didn't create on it but it is a page that i i created a background on before and i probably won't use anytime soon so what i'm gonna do is i'm looking for about where the head of my bird is here and i'm gonna punch the scissors through and create a little hole. Y'all probably, for those of you who know me, you probably know what I'm getting ready to do. <laughs> um, yes, I am. Because I think it'll look cool. So let's see. Is that my bird space? It is. All right. So now I need to pull the rest of this up. 
I don't want to pull it all up. So I have to carefully tear this because these um, mixed media pieces, like all that acrylic paint I put down before, is making it so um, it wants to pull up the whole section. So I always start small and then build from there. So as you can see, I can see my bird through here, but there's more that I would like to see. So I'm going to tear where I want to see, and I'm trying to be careful not to tear my words down at the bottom. I don't want those to be gone. Okay, that's some paper there that doesn't want to tear it well. And then I can see that, um, or feel that this whole little piece is trying to come up. So I got to tear it carefully. All right. That looks kind of cool. <laughs> uh, what am going to do with that? Because um, y'all know we hoard everything. Okay, so um, is that how much I want going? Maybe. Let's see. Is that enough? Yes, that's enough. I just want to see my bird through the hole. And I want, let me see. Does the word show? The words are not showing. That's okay. Maybe should I tear up so I see? No. I think just that little piece of bird showing is enough. Okay. So now I'm going to find some text. Align with my heart. I'm just reading all that I have. So I think what I'm going to do is renewed. I'm going to do renewed with, um, let's see what I can add to it. This little star. And either this star or this star. Let's see which one looks better. I think the music note one does. So what I'm going to do is going to Figure out how I want to staple this. This is good because I actually ended up um, covering. <laughs> so when I close this book, you can see here that some of the pages came apart on me when I unstapled. And I was so mad because uh, I was like, it's tearing up my page. So now I don't have to worry about it. So I'm putting this here with a staple and let's see, I'll put another staple here. Do I want to put it over? Let's see. I don't mind it looking like that. All right, okay. And then, I'll leave that little piece on there. I thought I was gonna cut the edge of Renewed off, but I don't really feel like I need to. Um, I'm gonna take a little piece of this tape, just a little, and I'm going to Put this underneath here it all looks green right now <laughs> I got this other little piece right here that I'm just going to randomly stick let's see what is the straight side it right here I just need to put that down somewhere okay and then I feel like I need a little a little lavender let's try 
Let's try a little lavender. Because this is the color I'm here for. I cannot leave it off the page, y'all. All right. So I'm going to tear both edges. I wonder if the game started yet. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to see what this looks like underneath here. Okay, all right. That's all right. <laughs> I feel like I need to make this not so straight. Okay, yeah, I'll make that better. Those little tears sometimes just make a big difference. <laughs> and I'm going to also put a piece of this lavender down here. Just random lavender right here because I need lavender right there. And then I'll put something small on there. I know what it will be because I need to use these crosses as well. I definitely just tore that one, but that's okay. It's about to be a part of this project. We are leaving no cross behind. And I might even put... Okay, I just got an idea. Since I put that there. I'm not trying... I said I wasn't going to decorate this whole page. I just wanted to make an entry point for my bird. But since I'm here... I'm gonna do this color also. I'm going to, all right. I at least needed three there, y'all. <laughs> all right, so I got my, this is leading up to this. So I think I'm done. I just wanna make sure it's dry. Yes, and y'all, I know this was long. This is almost an hour. Like, I literally got three minutes before it's an hour. <laughs> I just want to say that there is so much more I can add to this and do to this to make it uh, even more mixed media-ish. Feel free to continue adding layers, continue adding splatters, um, pieces of tissue paper, gluing things down, clustering things. You can continue that. You don't have to stop. But... This is where I'm going to stop for today. Show you my final piece. Also, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I just got an idea. I just got an idea. Okay, so in the book that I tore from or cut from, I am going to, because this scripture is one that I appreciate. I'm actually going to tear this out, tearing it towards me so I get those rip lines. I'm going to cut the rest of it so I can tear it without having to tear in this big old book. All right, so I want to try to get Be Strong and Courageous in that little pocket let's see if I can do it that little circle be strong and courageous let's see if I can do it I'm sure I can oh I like it okay so here we go I'm going to put some tape on here. Double sided again. You can glue it if you want more stability, of course. All right. And let's see if I can get the initial part in here. I can go to the other side and make sure. Okay, yep. All right, I am so excited for this. I'm also gonna put the scripture reference on there, so hold tight. 
I still got a minute before I go over an hour. <laughs> thank y'all so much for joining me today i hope you enjoyed this process i don't normally teach like this on youtube um, but i'm so glad to be in a space where i could this week on behalf of illustrated faith thank you so much sean and noel for the opportunity to do this and also to all of you for watching if you have any questions feel free to comment with them below um also know that if you would have done something different, that is perfectly fine. Um, I am satisfied with the outcome of this. And uh, this ultimately is was a time for me to reflect on God's message to me in telling me to be strong and courageous. And so however that needs to look for you, create that for yourself. Don't worry about what I think what somebody in your family thinks, what somebody online thinks, you create what God is putting on your heart to remind you of in those moments where you'll need encouragement. Because again, Becky was talking about um, overcoming hard things, walking through them alongside God. And so sometimes those hard things include what other people think of our work. <laughs> Walk through with God without worry or concern of what someone else thinks or believes about you or what you've created for God to remind you about God. You know what I should have done? No, I've put way too much washi tape on here. I wanted to put a piece of washi under there. Okay, y'all. So, I am finished. I'm going to give you an up-close look. And here we go. First page, turn to the second. And that, my friends, is my mixed media spread for Walking Through the Hard in Preparing Hearts, Illustrated Faith, February 2024 devotional. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for joining me, you all. Bye.